Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Vol Ages, hi, it's Sean out here, about to give you the daily vlog for Friday, April the 9th. And what an eventful day it was yesterday as I was playing Marvel Contest of Champions for upwards of 8 hours on stream. We're currently at almost 18 million with over a day and a half left to go as my second cycle five stars is scheduled to come back in about 25 minutes. Hoping to get most of the five stars run before Nappa gets on WoW. That way, hopefully with Jess and Nick, we can run a couple dungeons together. And hopefully Menma starts playing WoW a little bit more so we have a fifth since Chris is back on Emerald Dream and not likely to actually return to that server. Now, I'd also like to thank Nappa313 for not only the prime sub but gifting Casey Thunder a sub and also gaming with layman dropping a prime sub on my channel Thank you both for your support. and I really appreciate that now as far as Diablo 3 goes Unfortunately Savage Wolf did not show up last night However, he said that he'd probably be on there tonight lightning ended up falling asleep And it's understandable when you work at 4 in the morning staying up till 11 p.m. Is not that easy I just know that that's the time that Vince is most available. I think the earliest he can actually get on is around 9 o'clock, but I know before then he's doing stuff with his wife, and then he works till like 6 o'clock. So I usually don't push for him to get on earlier, unless it's important, like the new Diablo season, I got him on a little bit earlier. Or if I'm playing PSO2, I can usually get on a little bit earlier, because usually spends time on the dailies getting that done. Now, last night we also did get Nick up to level 70 on a Demon Hunter, so I don't know if he's going to be on Diablo later today trying to gear up a little bit, or if he's going to be on World of Warcraft. I'd also like to thank everybody for their positive support regarding my new overlays on Twitch. Thank you all for showing up and supporting the stream. As far as this weekend goes, as you guys know, WrestleMania is tomorrow night. I will be doing a video chat with Brian Abzinski. Hopefully Jay Sherwood would be able to pop on as well. But if anybody else wants to join in on the fun, let me know. If I don't like you, you're probably not getting in video chat. But we will be watching WrestleMania. I will not be streaming WoW during it. I probably still will will be grinding Marvel Contest Champions Arena because I'm going to have to run my four stars even through the arena. So I'll just pick the stupid matches to run those in. And the third cycle of arena should happen either near the end of the night or before the Vincent Shono show. If I run my characters early, I ran them at about 11, 11.30 today. So if I can get all the arena stuff done, hopefully by one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, I can go to bed earlier and get an even earlier start tomorrow and that'll make running even better because the earlier I get up, the more points I can score with not only my four stars, but my five and six star champions as they'll have another time to come around, especially the six stars. Running them on time is super important. As long as I get them done by 11 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock in the evening Saturday night, we should be good to go. And then I can run them the next day for a seven cycle and looking pretty good for hitting 40 million. And I will say this, if I do not get a Crossbones Nova or how Howard the Duck, five star, I will not be running round two because I'm not gonna waste my time for 5,000 five star shards, which is nice, but you don't need to put up 40 million for that. You only need to put up about 22 to 25 million. And it's not nearly as much of a headache because I could probably do that running two to three cycles of four star, five stars and two cycles of six stars every single day because that's around nine million points a day. And I don't need to go much beyond that. And then that would save a little bit of sanity during the day. Now, as far as the Vincent Shono show goes on Sunday, I will not be playing with Vince on Sunday because WrestleMania could run until midnight. I don't know if it's gonna go above three, three and a half hours. I know it starts at eight o'clock. I already told Vince that we're not gonna be playing together and we will resume the Vincent Shono show on Monday. Deadly will be with us for the next two days on Diablo. My advice to Deadly, get some levels now before 11 o'clock if you can. We can run a lower torment, and if you're running on like torment one or two, I'll probably just sit and level a wizard while I run my five stars in arena. That way I don't have to slog through the arena at three o'clock in the morning. So we'll see how everything goes. If we have the power level Savage Wolf and them, it'd obviously be faster on my main barbarian if we run T6, because I can just blow through that all. I don't know if Vince can handle that very well by himself. I know I can with the Legacy of Dreams. Great gem piece to get, by the way. But yes, the Vincent Shono show will be going on for the next two days. And I appreciate everybody that shows up for that. Unfortunately, I did not get in for the technical alpha for Diablo 2 Resurrected, but I already have the game pre-purchased on PC. I plan on buying it for both PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. If you want me to play an Xbox, you have to buy me a copy. So the rapper DMX also died officially today. 
It's sorry to see anybody in a vegetative state, no matter what type of stuff they were doing in the past, you don't want to see that happen to anybody. Well, I'm not a fan of rap, it's still a sad thing to see, and I think somebody in the UK also died that was pretty famous. I don't remember who it is, but my condolences go out to both people. As far as plans for next week goes, the only real plan that I have is Monday, Mama Shono wants to go to Gilbert's and Savage Wolf asked to come along. But either way, it would be a good opportunity to reconnect because we haven't seen each other since he went to Texas so it's been a few weeks and usually Mondays seem to be a pretty good day for that just because Gilbert's Pizza is half off and then we can either just play Hearthstone or do our own thing. Only thing is if I'm running two cycles of arena will I actually want to hang out because I'll have to focus on arena and run all 102 five stars plus the 26 stars that takes up about two hours of my day. So we'll have to see how much it goes and obviously if I pick a champion I don't have to worry about it so much because I can easily put up about 40 million with my rest. Possibly more if I use boost, and definitely more if I refresh my top three six stars. Because I have four of them at rank two now. I don't have a skill at rank two and I don't have a science at rank two. Now that's not saying She-Hulk isn't rank two worthy. Korg definitely is not. But She-Hulk is definitely worth it, in my opinion. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Science and Mystic are probably my least favorite champions. Probably because I don't have a Black Widow Clairvoyant. Also, I did a run at that legendary event. It actually wasn't that bad. Like, Nevermind said the opponents are about 100 to 150,000 health. Platinum Pool got shredded by Wolverine. Warlock would probably do really well in some of the fights that require a heal block. And we might even make a live stream out of it. And I think that we'll do something like that. We'll plan it near the end of the month. It requires 25 runs. So sometime in the next three weeks, before the next monthly, and when Alliance Quest comes back. So we'll go through about three more weeks of Alliance Quest, roughly, and then we'll decide from there who we bring. Now the good thing is you only need three champions for the event. So if I am running Corvus, Warlock, and somebody else like Red Magneto, I can then use Apocalypse Wolverine, and I don't have to worry about my champions being locked in Alliance Quest. And even still, I could use Hyperion, Nick Fury, and somebody else, and probably still be able to do the event just fine. But as far as Mortal Kombat Mobile, as far as Injustice 2 goes, as far as Injustice 1 goes, I currently am not scheduled to be playing those games. I think I'd rather get on console games for the time being next week. But if Dashi wants to start hardcore on Diablo, I don't play that softcore shit. If somebody wants to play on the Switch, we might be able to schedule some time for that. Or even some daytime Diablo. It really depends if I decide to run round two of that pick a champion. I would like to get a five star Howard the Duck just to make Mr. All Gamer happy, but I haven't fully committed to round two yet. I want to run two rounds, but at the same time, it does spread my time elsewhere thin. I've been really enjoying World of Warcraft, and I'll definitely be playing that with Nappa today and Sunday from one o'clock until about six. 6.30. So that's going to be the plan for Sunday, is that I'm going to run arena, run a cycle of champions, I'm going to get up about 10, run all the four stars first with five stars, get them all run so I can run them again before one o'clock, then run every single five star and six star champion in that time frame. With three hours to go, I could run two four stars and a five star and just run through the roster that way. And I think, and then we could get the four stars back before one o'clock. But anyways, that's going to be it for this daily vlog. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this daily vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another daily vlog.